am about to add a new device to my Avast Omni. Start by opening the user interface. Once that's opened, select the member to which that new device belongs. In this case, it's one of my laptops that I'll be adding. Once I've opened up the profile, which shows all of the connected devices under my name, scroll all the way down and select add a new device. In order to do that, I need to install Avast Omni on that device. I also need to use the existing account set up. This is the link that I need to download Omni for the Lenovo laptop that I'll be adding. This will copy that web address. I can now close this. Easiest way to proceed from here, send yourself an email with that address that you just copied. And once you get to the other computer, open up your email. You'll have that link and continue from there. And that's what I'll be doing now. I'll go to the other laptop open up my email because I'll be sending that to myself and then continue from there. So before I even got to the email to follow that link, I was notified on the Dell laptop that a new device has been discovered. I guess that's as soon as I turned that device on and it's now time to choose the owner of that new device that opened up the Avast Omni user interface. And from here I have two options. If it's an unrecognized device, I can simply block that device. Since this is a new laptop that I'm adding under my name, I will choose the owner, namely myself, and there's the Lenovo. Now I'm going to go back to that computer that was just recognized and has been added under my name and follow the link in that email that I had sent to myself on the Lenovo laptop. I'm now on the Lenovo laptop. I've opened the email addressed to myself and will now follow the link that I had sent to myself. That link is about to download the Avast Omni setup. We'll run it. Avast Omni is now doing its install. This will take a little while. I always like to do a custom install. There are currently some problems with the firewall in Omni. I happen to have some devices that cast my laptop to my TV. And at the moment, that's not working with the firewall. It works very well with the Windows 10 firewall. For right now, I will not be installing the firewall that comes with Omni. I don't use safe price. I don't use cleanup. Everything else is fine. It will be installed. The installation is still going on. Whatever you do, don't turn off your computer now. The Omni installation on the Lenovo has now completed. The system needs to be restarted for all the changes to take effect. Just as a further update, I did have the free version of Avast on this system. And when you install Omni, it automatically converts or gets rid of the free and installs Omni on the system. So I didn't have to remove it. It was done as part of the install. The system's restarted. And this is what I was greeted with after the restart. So let's hit continue. I'm going to pause and do the login. I've put in my username for my Avast account and my password. It is now checking that. If you did the sign in right, as I obviously did, you can now see all the things on this new edition because I'm now on my Lenovo and these are all the things the hub is doing for you, which explains why when I turned on the Lenovo, I automatically received the message that a new device had been added. And at that point, I assigned it to the rightful owner or if it was something I didn't recognize, I would have been able to block it so that it didn't get access. But that's how easy it is to add an additional device. It's also a nice and easy way to get Omni installed on that new device because you don't have to get rid of any of the Avast 
products that you may already have on that device. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.